Over the last few months, I have been asking a lot of you to send in your recommendations for what you want me to talk about next. And time and time again, I get South Africa, Apartheid, and Nelson Mandela. So I thought, what better day to talk about Nelson Mandela than today, Nelson Mandela Day, because on this day, 102 years ago, the truly remarkable and inspirational South African leader was born. And we celebrate this day with the official Nelson Mandela Day. So I have been wanting to talk about Nelson Mandela for quite some time as well. And when I started doing my research, I learned that there were so many endless amounts of stories and about his contributions and all of the variety of movements that he was a part of. I mean, the magnitude of his efforts and the change that he made in the world is truly remarkable. And it's hard to condense it into a single video, but I'm going to try. So for starters, Mandela was born into the Madiba clan in the village of Mvezo, South Africa. He was just 12 years old when his father passed away. Through his parents' upbringing, Mandela was always reminded of the courageous acts of his ancestors during wars of resistance. These stories are what inspired Mandela to contribute to the freedom struggle of his people. In 1934, Mandela went to the University College of Fort Hart to pursue a Bachelor of Arts degree. However, he didn't actually end up completing the degree because he was expelled for leading a student political protest. Hmm, early warning signs. <laughs> he was issued a warning from the king of his tribe back home after he got expelled that basically said that if he didn't go back to school, both he and his cousin Justice would have arranged wives. Instead, Mandela and Justice ran away to Johannesburg in 1941, and they worked as mine security officers. Two years later, he finally finished his BA at the University of South Africa. In 1944, Mandela joined the African National Congress to help form the ANC Youth League. This is when Mandela really focused on ending apartheid. Apartheid was a policy in South Africa that segregated the population based on race, and it politically and economically oppressed the majority native non-white population. So over the next 10 years, Mandela has kind of this trajectory of going back into school and then getting expelled for bad behavior. And at this point also, the ANC was really making a lot of noise in their movement to end apartheid. And it was catching a lot of attention, both good and bad. He was arrested twice during this period. The first was in 1961 for treason. Even though he was acquitted, he was then arrested again in 1962 for illegally leaving the country. He was sentenced to five years of imprisonment at the infamous Robben Island prison. He was then put on trial again in 1964 on charges of sabotage. Mandela, along with other ANC leaders, were convicted to a lifelong sentence in prison. Now, the conditions at Robben Island are horrific. Mandela spent 18 years confined to a small cell without a bed or plumbing. He was forced into hard labor. He was allowed to write and receive letters only once every six months and was given 30 minutes of visitation a year. Yet in spite of these unimaginable conditions, Mandela always remained true to his purpose of contributing to the struggle for freedom. While remaining as a symbolic leader of the anti-apartheid movement, Mandela also led a civil disobedience movement within the prison that actually pressured South African officials to improve the horrific conditions on Robben Island. This got him moved to a new location where he lived under house arrest. In February of 1990, however, the new president of South Africa, F.W. de Klerk, lifted the ban that was put on the ANC, suspended executions, and ordered the release of Nelson Mandela in the hopes to finally dismantle apartheid. Mandela then continued on to leading the ANC in its negotiations with the minority government for an end to apartheid and the establishment of a multiracial government. In 1993, Mandela and de Klerk were jointly awarded the Nobel Peace Prize, and just a year later, the ANC won an electoral majority in the country's first free elections where Mandela was elected South Africa's president. Mandela has been an inspiration for people not only in South Africa, but all around the world. He retired from politics in 1999 and founded the Nelson Mandela Foundation. The foundation still to this day focuses on creating just societies through Mandela's legacy by providing public access to information on his life and a dialogue on critical social issues. Mandela followed three rules throughout his life. Free yourself, free others, serve every day. Mandela's legacy will forever symbolize global advocacy for peace and social justice, and we should remember him, especially today, but always.